are you ready for an exciting Facebook video magic trick? I'm gonna teach you a quick and simple strategy to get video views for less than a penny each. In fact, be able to get them for a sub a penny, you know, for a tenth of a penny, for even more. I'm gonna show you how inexpensive you can actually make this happen with a series of steps and a series of screenshots. And I'm gonna to try to make this as simple as possible. Number one, the first thing you wanna do is publish a video to your Facebook fan page as a regular post, okay? Just do it as a regular uploaded video to your Facebook fan page. And of course, the more viral this video is, the cheaper it's going to be. If you just post a regular video, then your goal is gonna be one penny per view, but if you actually post something that people wanna share and comment on and tag their friends on and they click like on it, if it goes viral, you can start getting it for .001 and .0001 per view. It's gonna get pretty exciting. So it's just as simple as logging into your Facebook fan page, any one of them, but hopefully the video is related to the fan page, and you click on the photo slash video upload button right here, right like you would upload a normal status update. And then you're just gonna go ahead and click on the box that says upload photos and videos. And when you do, it's gonna ask you for a file on your computer. You're just gonna grab a video file and upload it. And as soon as you do, uh, it's gonna give you this option here on the left. It's gonna give you the option to add a custom thumbnail, which I highly suggest you do. That is a huge tip to be able to help get the video to go viral and get more exposure. To the left of that thumbnail, you're gonna be able to give the video a title, which is a lot less important, but it's just something to do. But up on top, the most important part is gonna be the description. Now, what I like to do is I like to monetize these videos. I don't just like to get a lot of views on them, I like to make money from them, but I like to start off with no call to action. So in this example video, I would start off with something that said, oh my God, this kid is insanely good at pool trick shots. And that's it, that's all I would do. And then I would let the video go viral for a while, and then afterwards, what I would do is I would actually unhook the ads, I would edit the post, and I would add a call to action to it, and then I would uh, put ads back to it. Okay, that's what I would do. As you can see on the right, it kind of looks a little bit something like this when it's done publishing. You got a, a clean thumbnail, and uh, you start getting views. As you can see, this video here did uh, at the time of the screenshot, 1.6 million views just for that video. So you can do this over and over and over at a fraction of a penny. Number two, use page post engagement ads to boost the views. Okay, there's an ad objective called video view ads and it does work, but it doesn't work for what we're trying to do, which is trying to get an individual video well over a million, two million, five million views and let the viral engagement go over. So if you're trying to get a video to go viral, you're going to want to use page post engagement ads. So it looks like this, when you go to create a post, or sorry, to advertise a post, click the option that says boost your posts. Okay, click the option that says boost your posts. You'll notice on the left, the, wrong, the box is around the wrong one. It's actually, the screenshot is actually, should be the box above it. The one that's blue up there on the top left, boost, your posts, okay, boost your posts. That's the one you're gonna wanna choose. And then you just pull up a fan page and then you just find the video uh, that you wanna post. If it's your most recent one, it should be the most recent one. Now look on the bottom of that screenshot, you're gonna see a blue box that says continue. That's the most important one. Do not click the video views objective. Facebook wants you to use that one because it's a video, but just click continue. So again, boost your posts, page post engagement, find the video and then press continue. Number three, target interests with five to 10 million potential reach. Okay, five million is the sweet spot. Now, you, this can be done, if you're in a micro niche, this can be done with a million um, in your potential reach, but really the sweet spot is gonna be five million, and I really like to go five to 10 million in my potential reach, okay? So here's a little bit what that looks like. Um, what I'll do is I'll choose audiences like United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Australia, and New Zealand. Those are the five top countries that I'll choose because these are English speaking countries with credit cards. I might also throw in a couple others, you know, like Ireland and whatnot, but I really, even though you can get cheap views somewhere else, I really want targeted real views. And so what I'll do is I'll choose these targeted real views and I'll get the potential reach over there. As you can see on the right, I'm gonna add an interest to those countries. The interest I'm gonna add is pool Q sports because that video is about billiards. So find an interest or a group of interests that are related to uh, your topic, pool Q sports. Okay, billiards. Now you'll notice I did the age range 21 to 65, and I like to do that because I like to get a little bit of an older audience, um, so I usually will choose 21 and older uh, for almost all my ads. They're just more likely to purchase, more likely to buy, stuff like that. Um, but you'll see the potential reach is 9.3 million people, so it's pretty powerful. What I, what I might do is I might run one ad to this, 
and then I might split the ad, one for women, one for men, or that reach is big enough, I might even really just try a few different things. But what I'll do on a simple note is I've got a reach here that's 9.3 million, so that's within five to 10 million, so I should be fine and good to go with this one. Number four, only spend $5 per day on each campaign maximum. So I don't like to go over $5 per day at all on any campaign. So you might be saying, Chris, what if I want to do more? Well, I'll show you what to do if you want to spend more than $5 per day, but don't up the cost of the campaign. Don't go to $10 or even don't go to $100 per day that you're willing to spend. So it should look a little something like this. When it comes down to how much do you want to spend, choose daily budget, $5. And that's it. It's just a really simple ad. I'm targeting, in this example, 9.3 million people with a daily budget of $5 using a page post engagement ad pointing to a video post. Okay? And you can practice this. It's such a small budget. Practice it. Try it a few times and see what happens. Now, let's say you want to scale out. Step five tells you to duplicate the campaign and just change the name of the campaign. That's it. So yeah, I'm going to duplicate everything that I just did, but I'm just going to slightly change the name and do that over and over and over again. So here's a little bit what that looks like. When I'm done placing an ad, it's going to say your order has been placed. Okay? But there's going to be a little box right there that says create a similar ad. I'm going to, instead of continue, I'm going to choose that one, create a similar ad. And as soon as I do, I'm not going to use the existing campaign because then it's going to divide my $5 between those two ads. So I'm going to choose the box on the top right. You'll see that top right box that says change campaign. And then I'm going to choose the circle right there that says create new campaign. So again, duplicate the post, change the campaign, create a new campaign. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Then the most important thing is simply retitling it. So you'll notice really all I'll do is I'll just add the word two. I'll add, or sorry, the number two. So billiards player might be the name of the video. Billiards keywords might be the keyword that I'm going after. And then I'll just duplicate it all and press two, and then I'll place the ad. And then I'll duplicate it again, change the campaign name, change that right there to say billiards keywords three. Then I'll duplicate again, and I'll do this 10 times. So instead of spending $50 a day in one campaign, I'll actually do 10 duplicate campaigns at $5 a day each. That'll be $50. And then let's say I want to choose different keywords. Let's say I want to go in and target some different keywords like brands or you know different things or competitions or associations. I'll group those together into another multi-million person audience and I'll duplicate everything but I'll just change the interests. So that's what I do. I'm constantly duplicating and just changing uh, a little bit. Duplicating, changing a little bit and doing that. And this, that's my process of scaling. Number seven, pause ads that are basically one cent or point zero zero one or higher and scale out the winners. Now, real, real quick, if you're doing a video that is like a personally branded video of you, or you're doing a video um, that's a business video, you just one penny's fine, then that's fine. Basically, what I'm saying is set a threshold that you're gonna pause. And usually what I'll do is I'll allow these about 24 to 48 hours to get stats. They're gonna start out expensive. They might even start out at a penny each. Let them settle in. Let Facebook optimize your ads. So I like these to run for 24 to 48 hours. And then after about 24 to 48 hours, I wanna pause anything that is in what I call the two zero club, which is point zero zero one, and I'm going to scale anything anything that's in the three zero club, which is point zero 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 something. Okay, so however many zeros there are, the two zero or three zero club. So again, pause anything that didn't make it, scale the winners, and I usually wait twenty four to forty eight hours to have enough data to see if it's worthwhile. So here's an example screenshot. This one's a little blurry, so I'll show you some others. But in this example, you know, you'll see point. Uh, don't worry about the first zero, but you'll see. Point zero 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 three zero 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 three zero 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 four zero 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 three. Those first four ads, I would keep them, but that last ad down there on the bottom, I would um, pause that one. I would pause that one. So even though you would think, wow, point zero zero one is good. I mean, look at the number of engagements I'm getting for you know fifty two bucks on that first ad. One hundred eighty one thousand engagements, which are essentially video views. That's the main engagement. Fifty two bucks for one hundred eighty one thousand video views compared to 35 bucks for only 57,000. So I'm gonna get a much better bang for my buck by basically cloning that top ad and, and trying to figure out what was it about it that Facebook's liking about that. Okay, here's another example right here. Um, just that same billiards video or whatever. Real basic example, you can see after only $2 spent on each one of those, I already could see that it was a good ad. A martial arts video and a billiards video, only $2 spent and it's already looking like it's good. And if I let those go, and if I tweak those a little bit more, I might even be able to get them into the four zero club. Okay, so that's kind of what you want to do. Step number eight, repeat the process for every niche you are in.
Okay, repeat the process. So don't just stick with one video. You wanna get a group of videos out there because you never know when they're gonna get that viral factor. So in this example, this was the billiards niche, but you might be able to find one that gets bigger and bigger and bigger. Now, notice the red square on the bottom there. 1.6 million paid reach, 1.7 million organic reach. So as you can see, Facebook is essentially doubling my value of each click. So every click I'm paying for, so let's say I'm paying 0 .0002 per view. 0.0002, right? It seems crazy, but then the organic reach is actually more than that, right? So what's happening is I'm getting rewarded one for one. I'm getting rewarded one for one on every single um, view that I get. So for every view that I pay for, Facebook is actually giving me another view, right? So you wanna, you wanna start in your mind doing some math, right? So if you get, let's say you have 100 views at 0.0002, which is what I showed you in that example, you're spending 20 bucks for 100,000 views. In that example, in the ad that I just showed you two seconds ago, I was doing 0 .0002, right? So again, 20 bucks for per, you know, per um, to be able to grow that, right? That's basically what you want to do. You want to get those views down so it's so cheap that you can spend really 20 bucks to get 100,000 views. But then look, Facebook's rewarding you one for one, so you're actually getting 200,000 views for that same 20 bucks, right? And then when you get it even cheaper, you'll notice how you can get 300, 400, or 500,000 views for 20 bucks once you get a little bit better. So it's just money, right? For 50 bucks you can get a, view to, a video to a million views when you do this right. So this is why you wanna learn this. Number nine, keep your videos to a very short length, okay? I like the length of 20 seconds. The shorter the length is, the more likely it is to go viral, okay? So you wanna keep it to a short length, like 20 seconds, so that people might be able to watch it twice or even three times. When it's short and it's straight to the point. So if you're editing a longer video, take a little clip out of it that could go viral that's just 20 seconds long. And the last step here, number 10, avoid using videos with known copyright issues. So you might see something that go, wow, that's a killer video I wanna to post on my page. But if it has like a Major League Baseball um, logo on it and it's a replay of a game or it's a replay of like a golf tournament or it's, it's a celebrity and stuff like that, you wanna use your own caution. Now I'm not a lawyer, I'm not gonna tell you what you can and can't do, but just avoid using obvious known copyright issues. The trick here is Look at your newsfeed. Look at the videos that have millions of views that show up in your newsfeed and realize they're just generic. Most of the time they're generic videos. They look like the kind of videos that would surface on America's Funniest Videos where you don't even know who to give credit to because it's just some random video with no, no known copyright issues on it. Those are the types of videos or create your own, of course. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick little magic hack on Facebook on how to be able to get Facebook video, video views for a penny or less.